acid-base reactions can also be used to um, as an ap application of stoichiometry. So here's a problem where we're trying to figure out how many milliliters of 0.8 molar sodium hydroxide, a strong base, does it take to react completely with 50 milliliters of 0.35 molar strong acid hydrochloric acid? A strong acid and a strong base react together to produce a salt and water. So here's the balanced reaction. It's a nice one-to-one -one mole to mole ratio between the acid and the base. The unknown, x milliliters of sodium hydroxide, we set that equal to the known 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And once you have the known set equal to the unknown, we're going to use the molarity as a conversion factor. So to convert the milliliters of hydrochloric acid we're using the given molarity which tells you for every liter or 1000 milliliters of hydrochloric acid we know it contains 0.35 moles and then the balanced chemical equation can relate moles of hydrochloric acid to moles of sodium hydroxide which in this case is a nice one-to-one -one ratio and then we want to turn moles of sodium hydroxide into milliliters and this is another conversion using the molarity and the molarity of the sodium hydroxide was 0.8 moles per liter doing this calculation is going to give you an answer of just under 22 milliliters of sodium hydroxide.